Good evening everyone, welcome to Life Study Library, this is your host Lai Yosh. As you can see, I'm on a vacation, but I'm still making and posting podcast episodes because I simply love what I'm doing, and working on this podcast has become a major habit of mine that I pretty much cannot stop working on. But anyways, in this channel you'll be able to learn about these interesting science and psychology, as I'll explain it by using multiple scholarly articles and studies and research. It's actually pretty late at night and I'm very sleepy, but uh, it is without a doubt a timely moment for today's topic because today or tonight we're talking about the science of eye masks that piece of cloth you wear when you go to sleep although yes eye masks do have a scientific evidence of making you sleep better but for this particular video we are going to be discussing how eye masks help you improve your attention and memory if you're interested then please like this video and make sure to subscribe to life study library as every one of your support helps so much and i appreciate you so much for doing so okay so let's get going before i fall asleep so according to a study done in cardiff university in england by wearing eye masks and shutting off excessive light during sleep we might be able to improve our cognitive ability the next day the study was published in the science article sleep on 2022 December 15th. To begin with, it should be a common understanding that sleep and sleep quality is a vital part of our life and it's super important to our physical and mental health. And to be honest, saying all these words right now, I can kind of feel that I didn't sleep so well these past few days because I slept yesterday without an eye mask, which I usually do. Uh, I somehow lost it. I need to get a new eye mask. And as you can see, there are many factors that contribute to how well you sleep at night. But in particular, many past studies have repeatedly claimed that brightness of your surrounding area is also an important factor in your quality of sleep. As a diurnal organism, our body wakes up and gets activated during the day and starts to relax and shut down during the, the nighttime. To your surprise, this biological mechanism of our body and many other organisms for that matter were physiologically built to become activated in the day and rest at night. That's why none of us cannot seem to become 100% nocturnal, even though some of us think otherwise. Other naturally nocturnal animals like bats are biologically programmed to be active during the nighttime. But we humans are designed as daytime animals. Our body senses the darkness during nighttime as a signal to go to sleep, and the brightness in the daytime as a signal to wake up and be active. And so, some scientific studies have actually advised people to sleep with their window blinds opened so that sunlight would enter the room more naturally and more intensely and we wake up to it more effectively. Like rather than using an alarm, by keeping the blinds open, we might be able to wake up better. Though I do not recommend this to everyone concerning people's safety, like it might be dangerous for you to have your bedroom exposed during nighttime so you can uh, try this at your own risk. But the really interesting thing is that it seems like any source of light, even if it's not natural sunlight, but even if it's artificial light, our sleeping quality might be affected. Multiple studies have also claimed that artificial light sources, like the light stands in your room to your phone or uh, outside light posts, also worsen your quality of sleep if lit excessively during nighttime. And of course you can probably guess correctly that smartphones poses as the worst kind of nighttime light source that destroys our sleep and sleep quality. And you yourself might not feel this negative effect from looking at your phone during nighttime, but many, many studies have proven that your body does become negatively affected from these blue light sources. Like, think about it. Before the time of Thomas Edison, before the light bulb was invented, during the time when the only source of light during nighttime was that from a fire, our scenery would become much, much darker, to a point where traveling during nighttime became a life-threatening mistake. And you can say that from a habitual standpoint that our bodies have acquired this habit to do stuff during the day because we can see where we're going, and to not do stuff during the night because we become practically blind. And so, our bodies are not used to bright lights shining during the night and our body will confuse it as sunlight an incorrect sign that it's daytime right now because your body will become activated from this mistake you won't be able to sleep well and thus you will become sleep deprived even when you're not using your phones and are just like keeping it right next to you the light that shines when you get a text or something even if you're not looking directly at it it'll still damage your sleep quality and I know I've talked about keeping your window blinds open, but uh, nowadays that, that's a bad idea too, because unless you're living in like a mountain or something, the outside is bright 
light as well. But yeah, uh, you can see these direct effects that nighttime lights have on us. And that's why today's study was conducted. The researchers wondered, what if you completely shut off lights by using eye masks when you sleep? The study collected 80 people with age ranging from 18 to 35 years old who were studied for a total of two weeks. The first week, the samples were tasked to sleep in their house wearing eye masks for five days, and the remaining two days of the week were spent doing a variety of cognitive tests. And for the other week, they did the same thing except without wearing an eye mask. And like the previous week, the remaining two days were spent doing cognitive tests. And the results showed that the samples who wore an eye mask when they slept the results show that they had an increased score concerning their episodic memory. Episodic memories are basically memories of what happened in their individual lives. So memories like what you wore to work yesterday or uh, who, where you went last night and with who. Memories concerning specific information like this. And just for your info, there's another type of memory called declarative memory, which refers to remembering common information, like the name of the current US president, or the answer to 1 plus 1, or how many hours are in a day. Common sense questions that have a set answer. Additionally, the samples are also measured on their behavioral attentiveness, in terms of intensity and longevity, so how much they were able to pay attention to certain stuff and for how long. This was scored by using the psychometer vigilance test or PVT and the result here also supported their claim as wearing eye masks make you more attentive in addition with an improved memory. The funny thing was that these improvements were not detected by the samples. The samples themselves did not feel as if wearing eye masks improved their attention level and their memory. But however, because the improvements were clearly detected on the technology, it can be safe to say that the effect is pretty real and there are no major judgment errors like biases. But wait, I have more. To really make sure that this was actually happening, an additional study was conducted where the samples did the same study while having their brain waves observed. And according to the results of this study, it showed that when they were wearing eye masks, the duration of their slow wave sleep was longer. A slow wave sleep is essentially a time during your non-REM sleep where you produce a low frequency brain wave. So when you're sleeping, particularly when you're in the non-REM sleep or the deep sleep, your brain's emitting a source of signal that tells the rest of your body to do a particular act. In this case, your brain's telling your body to rest, rejuvenate, and recover from the day's activity. Some animals like bats and whales or dolphins can use something similar to this which is called echolocation. And one way they can use echolocation is that they pretty much shoot out the sound wave to an object in order to detect if there is anything in front of their path. And often they use this echolocation as a shock wave to literally shock and kill their prey or other predators. Well, yeah, so humans, of course, cannot use this brainwave to harm others, but so what I was saying is that during the time of your non-REM sleep, when your brain emits this wave, there are some points in this process where the brainwave emission gets less intense and becomes at a lower level. This is what you call a slow wave sleep. This is the time when the majority of your brain parts are resting from their usual activities when it's awake. And during this time, your brain is rejuvenating itself and your body, along with recreating cells and replacing old ones, and producing the most amount of hormones within a day. So in order to allow your brain to repair your body, and to let your brain focus on this, this activity for as much as possible while you're sleeping, you need to have a substantial amount of slow wave sleep. And to help you do this more effectively, wearing eye masks might be a great idea for you. It can also be said that the improvements you see with your memory and attention can be due to you experiencing this slow wave sleep for a longer time, and there's no denial that this is a good thing. Additionally, the samples did a test called the Psychomotor Vigilance Test, or PVT, which basically measures how well you stayed behaviorally attentive at things for how long. And this test also showed that those who wore eye masks when they slept, compared to those who didn't, scored higher on the test. This is also significant because it has been so loudly claimed that humanity in the recent times lacks so much in attentiveness because of all the access to numerous forms of distraction. The part when I talked about looking at your phone during the night in a dark room is a major form of the lack of attentiveness or being distracted. So from these two tests, they were able to know that wearing eye masks when you go to sleep improves your episodic memory and your attentiveness the next 
next day. And also, the self-reports made by the samples concerning their sleeping time and quality didn't show a significant relationship. So, regarding sleeping time and sleeping quality, the existence of eye masks did not matter. And they found, through additional follow-up studies, the main topic I want to discuss in this video. When the sample's brainwaves were measured, it showed that during the time when they were sleeping with their eye masks on, they had a longer time experiencing what's called the slow wave sleeping. Like I said earlier, having more time of slow wave sleep allows your body to recover better, and so the research claims that by being able to recover your body from the day's work, having a substantial amount of time being in the stage of the slow wave sleep is very important. And to help you do this better, wearing eye masks may be a good idea for you. According to the study, by wearing eye masks, you'll also be able to improve your memory and attentiveness. And because you're more capable of retaining information and being more focused at things, we can consider yourself smarter than before. And I kind of should have explained it earlier, but becoming smarter in this case isn't too much about being able to get better grades in school or perform better in work. At least not directly. I guess the improvement of your memory can be easily linked to the idea of becoming smart. Because if you you can remember more stuff then that'll be easier for you to not not only get better grades and tests and stuff but because improving your memory is one of the cognitive abilities it'll lead you to problem solve better or process information better or simply make better decisions and just to make it clear, all these abilities I told you is part of what's called the cognitive ability. So in essence, a good night's sleep leads you to attain all these different benefits. The current human species are virtually required to operate in a fast-paced world that changes itself drastically on a daily basis. And in many areas, we have adapted quite spectacularly to its demands. Even compared to just a century ago, our brains have continued to be successful in keeping up with the demand and developing. However, many experts might say that the recent development of the world, compared to all of human history added up, has been the most intense. So like, when our monkey ancestors first picked up stone weapons to hunt animals, that was an obvious sign of development and evolution. And then we've made fire, basic forms of houses and structures, started making iron and many other things using it. From all this evidence of development, I don't think many people would disagree with me when they say that through a long amount of of time we came a long way and on an exponential scale because the fairly recent creation of like computers and iPhones I would say that it advanced us way more than like 99% of the other past creations we've made in our entire history so far but at what cost by always having our phones in our visual range, we've gotten so easily distracted with the latest news or celebrity gossip that is pretty much meaningless to us when you think about it. And this is added to the fact that we are living in a way more dangerous world. Cars are great examples. On the one hand, yes, they are very convenient and have made our lives much easier. But because of the existence of cars, we have added one more item in our checklist of things to watch out for when we're outside. And people like your parents, I'm sure, have been very vocal about watching out for yourself. And this advice, psychologically speaking, means making quick decisions. When you see a car coming from afar that's kind of driving weird, you need to make instant decision in yourself that, Oh, wait a minute, that car's kind of driving funky. Maybe the driver's drunk or, or is sleeping. And I should take some kind of an action. Maybe move away, go to the opposite direction, whatever. But I need to make that decision quick or else I'm going to be so sorry for myself. My point here is that in our daily lives, we are required to remember past information and make quick decisions. And the researchers of today's study have commented by saying that by wearing eye masks when we sleep, we are able to recover our cognitive ability and will be able to make smart and rational decisions that lead us to our survival and eventual prosperity. And for barely any cost, right? If we can get all these benefits for just a couple bucks, then I would say that this is a really good investment we can have on our literal lives. So that was it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed it. And now, as usual, my recommendations. Let's start with a book recommendation, I have a really good one. Today's recommended book is called, Why We Sleep, Unlocking the Power of Sleep in Dreams by Professor Matthew Walker. 
The author of this book, Professor Matthew Walker, is a director of UC Berkeley's Sleep and Neural Imaging Lab, and also a professor of neurology and psychology. I think I said this in some of my other videos, but when you consider improving your lives, there are these scientifically proven three aspects of your life that you should focus on in order on a ranking basis. From the top, they are fixing your eating habits, fixing your sleeping habits, and fixing your exercising habits. According to many, many, many studies, these are the aspects in your life that you should work on to improve in order to positively change your life. And yes, as you can see on my video uploads, uh, I don't have them in order that's according to the ranking, but I'm sure I have at least one video that covers all three topics. But I'll make sure to have all these recommended videos in order in my uh, description section. But for now, I want you to remember that if you have an issue with your exercise habits, you can focus on your workout habits, maybe improve them, but maybe the real problem isn't there. Maybe the real reason why you can't seem to make a habit of exercise is because you're not eating correctly and you're not feeling energized and motivated. Or you might not be sleeping well and you're simply too sleepy to do anything. I have all the videos that cover these three topics in the, the description in this video, so you should go check them out. And with all that said and out of the way, I wish you a good night rest with an eye mask and I'm gonna go to sleep too so good night everyone bye